The Grand Canyon is one of the most picturesque places in the world. If you're going there, you're probably bringing some sort of camera. And you're probably going to take some wide-angle photos of the canyon from some of the lookouts, or maybe even hike a bit. But there is a lot going on at the Grand Canyon. And if you're going to hike, you have even more to think about. So let's talk about what it's like, what you'll need, and some suggestions that I have regarding the actual photo taking. What do I bring? We'll get to the camera, but let's talk about what you wear first. Clothes. It can be cold and it can be warm at the rim, or really hot as you descend into the canyon. Layers are key, especially if you're hiking. You do have the south rim and the north rim, though. The south rim is the most popular because it's the easiest to get to and it has milder weather. In fact, the north rim is closed during the winter months. It's at an elevation of an average of 8,000 feet, which is over 1,000 feet higher than the south rim. So it gets pretty snowy out there. Also, wear shoes that are comfortable to walk around in, even if you aren't going to do any major hiking. You can end up doing a lot of walking around at the rim looking for that perfect shot. If you are going to hike down, you'll need food and water. Some trails have water every few miles, some don't. You won't find any food until you get to Phantom Ranch at the bottom. And even then, there's not a lot going on down there. Definitely bring a lot of water and some food if you're going to be hiking. And I don't mean one little bottle either. You'll need a lot of water. The folks at the Grand Canyon recommend a half to one liter of water every hour you're hiking. I like to bring my biggest and baddest camelback, which holds three liters of water, and put food and my extra layers plus my essentials in it. What you bring depends on, you know, your hiking style, but I like to bring a rain poncho during the rainy months, a knife, some coconut water for electrolytes, sunscreen. If I'm going to be on a trail that I'm unfamiliar with, I also bring a map and a compass, just in case. Now let's talk about your camera. Like I said before, you'll probably be walking around, even if you do plan to stay up at the rim. I like to pack light. In fact, I usually bring one camera body and one or maybe two lenses. You'll almost definitely want the capability to shoot wide angle, but sometimes a closer look can be cool. You have to remember that gear will weigh you down if you're hiking. I've hiked the Grand Canyon a lot, so I've run the gamut of camera and lens combinations. I've hiked with larger bodies and smaller bodies, larger lenses and smaller lenses. Whatever you decide to do, remember that you're going to have to carry it. And I can tell you from experience that your gear will seem a lot heavier when you're exhausted from hiking. Where's the best place to take photos? There are many overlooks at the rim. Go to some of them. You'll get different views into the canyon. But don't get so taken with the canyon that you miss the rest of the park. The wildlife, the trees, the railway. I even found a rusted out car in the woods one time. Hiking into the canyon will provide you with a whole other kind of scenery. But if you're going to hike, make sure you know your limits. There's only one way out of the canyon. If you're going to hike in, you have to hike out. There are signs all over warning you of not doing too much. They're not kidding. When is the best time to go? I've been to the Grand Canyon during pretty much every month of the year, and I can say that there's really not a bad time to be there. Spring and early fall are probably the most agreeable times to be there, especially if you're going to hike. It will be cool or warm at the top, and then warm at the bottom. Even then, you'll want to check the weather forecast to see if rain is predicted. If you go in the summer, the rim will be beautiful and warm, but remember, the elevation drop is over a mile by the time you get to the bottom, so it gets flaming hot down there. Hiking early is usually your best option. As a side note, the elevation drop is over a mile, but don't get that confused with trail length. Depending on the trail you choose, you'll be hiking many miles to get there. In the winter, there will be snow and ice, and possibly limited visibility into the canyon. Because of that, it's the least popular time for visitors at the canyon, and one of my favorite. But bundle up and check trail conditions. No matter what season you go, you will have spectacular sunrises and sunsets, which will give you endless photo masterpiece opportunities. How should I set my camera? Setting your camera will depend on what you want your end result to look like. If you're going for the quintessential landscape photo of the Grand Canyon, go with a narrower aperture, maybe around f8, to get lots in focus. You might need to widen the aperture or increase your ISO sensitivity if you're shooting at sunrise or sunset, though. To bring out the colors in the canyon, try using a different picture control or picture style, whatever your camera calls it, where you set certain characteristics like saturation and contrast. Many cameras have a landscape option. Wide is great, but telephoto is fun too, or maybe even macro. There is a lot to see when you aren't ogling the vast expanse of the canyon itself. What else do I need to know? Visit the Grand Canyon's website before you go. There's a ton of information on there that will help you plan your trip. When you get there, read the newspaper that they give you on the way into the park. It has a map, sunrise and sunset times, bus times, plus more info on what you can do while you're there. I do have to warn you one more time about hiking. 
pay attention to how you're feeling and remember that you have to hike up whatever you hike down. Lots of people get themselves into trouble, even during the cooler months. Drink water, eat food, and take your time. My last piece of advice is to enjoy yourself. Don't get overly concerned with your photos. Do what you can and don't worry about what you can't. By the time you leave, you'll have plenty of pictures up here.